Hi, today I have one multiple choice question for you and one true false statement. So you can stop video here, uh, read the question and statement, answer these questions and then you can run video again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And I will start with a question. Which of the following is not a result of uh, non-disjunction uh, of the sex chromosomes? And here is the five answers that you may choose from. And I would start from answer D, Klinefelter syndrome. This is going to be due to non-disjunction of the sex chromosome. And phenotypically this is going to be male with 2X chromosome. So uh, this would be XX. Y. So phenotypically this is going to be male but would have one extra X chromosome. So uh, this is due to non-disjunction of the sex chromosome. So we have to search for the uh, um, answer that is not a result of non-disjunction. And this is a result of non-disjunction, this answer D. So let's move uh, to the answer C. Turner syndrome is uh, also due to non-disjunction of the sex chromosome. This is a condition when we have a female, but uh, instead of uh, having two X chromosome, such female would have only one X chromosome. So this would be X O. And uh, phenotypically, as I said, this is going to be uh, female. And uh, answer B, bar body. And bar body uh, is uh, just uh, inactive one X chromosome. And this is normal condition. All females has uh, two X chromosome. And uh, in each uh, cell, uh, one of the X chromosomes would be uh, turned off and would form a bar body. And this is normal process. And this is, has nothing to do uh, with non-disjunction of the sex chromosomes. So uh, this would be our answer here. And uh, the last choice would be Down syndrome. And Down syndrome is due to non-disjunction of the chromosome uh, per 21. So there would be three uh, chromosomes present in the pair 21 and we call it uh, such condition Down syndrome and this also would be correct answer because uh, sex chromosome pair is number 23. So we have two correct answers here. So uh, the correct answer would be both A and B. So this is going to be our correct answer. And uh, let's move to statement. A trait caused by recessive autosomal allele will result in pedigrees that show affected individuals having at least one affected parent. And let me show you a situation when uh, two parents wouldn't be phenotypically affected. For, exa for example, let's take on this side uh, we would uh, put genotype of the father that is going to be heterozygous and wouldn't express uh, any disease because he would have one uh, normal allele that we would designate with uh, capital A and one would be a small a recessive allele and uh, here is a male and on this side would be female also who is going to be heterozygous so one allele would be normal capital A and one would be recessive and let's see what uh, kind of progeny they may have and here would be one normal phenotype both alleles would be capital A here would be once again normal phenotype because at least one allele uh, that is uh, dominant present here and here would be once again normal phenotype because one dominant allele present and here we would see 
um, um, homozygous recessive phenotype. So, uh, as you see, we have here two phenotypically normal parents, but they would have one uh, out of four chances to have uh, affected child. And this contradict with this statement, where at least one individual, one uh, parent should be um, affected in order to have affected child. So this statement is false. So we choose answer B. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, suggest new videos. That's all. Goodbye.